Let me be frank. I am not going to st stand up here and give you the traditional hallmark version of a validatory speech. Instead, I'd like to offer you a different kind of speech, one that discusses expectations versus reality. Many of you see me standing up here and assume that, that my life must be pretty great. My parents must be very proud. Nevertheless, I think it's important to note that those are only half-truths. Those are the expectations. My reality has been quite different. On July 11th, it will be exactly six years since I moved to McKinney from Mexico City where I was born and raised. When people see me standing up here, they see a girl who's ill-bound and who seems to have her life figured out. But that, that is far from the whole truth. So at this time, if I may, I'd like to convey my fair share of realities. Unexpected reality number one. At the age of 11, I was nothing more than the girl with an abusive and alcoholic father who had to depend on her mother's strength. A girl whose only dream was to someday become an American. A naive girl who thought that moving countries would solve all of the problems in her life. Unexpected reality number two. At the age of 12, I was faced with the, ha the task of having to embrace and fit into a new culture. Oftentimes, my intelligence was questioned due to my background. I was also faced with the task of giving up a part of my childhood to help raise my little sister, Andrea, while my mom worked from morning until late at night. School became my safe heaven because despite not having internet, a washing machine, or even my own bed, I always had knowledge at my fingertips thanks to the library at my school. And also, not only that, but I also realized that that might be the only way I might be able to help my family. Although we do not all share, although we do not all share the same struggles and we haven't gone through the same hurdles throughout life, we do share some of the same sentiments. I know what it's like to be put down, to have your accomplishments and acknowledged, to feel powerless. So at this time, I would like to commend each and every single one of you here for persevering through your own challenges, for being the resilient human beings you have proven to be, and for not letting any obstacles stop you from getting here today. We all have struggles, struggles we want to face on our own behind closed doors because we know that if people were to discover them, we would be at our most vulnerable state and never looked at the same way. Well, after all of these years, I have finally mustered up the courage to stand before you and share a struggle I've had to deal with each and every day. Unexpected reality number three. I am one of the 11 million undocumented immigrants living in the shadows of the United States. I decided to stand before you today and reveal these unexpected realities because this might be my only chance to convey the truth to all of you that undocumented immigrants are people too. I was... I was hesitant to speak about this here today because of the great divide of opinions concerning the topic of immigration in America, but I feel like I owe it to all of you to be honest, and I owe it to myself. The most important part of the debate, and the part most often overlooked, is the fact that immigrants, undocumented or otherwise, are people too. People with dreams, aspirations, hopes, and loved ones. People like me people who have become a part of the American society and way of life and who yearn to help make America great again without the construction of a wall built on hatred and prejudice. We are here without official documentation because the U.S. immigration system is broken and it has forced many families to live in fear. I myself have been waiting seven years for my application to even be processed. So I hope that all of you leave here today knowing that we are trying to do it the right way, but we don't know how. I, I ask for all of you to try to look beyond the way in which the media portrays us and the dehumaniz dehumanizing accusations that some politicians have made. I ask for you to please Keep your hearts open and try to find love and the love and understanding that make a, makes us human. 
because after all, we are people just like you. Well, I can't predict the future and tell you how successful you're all going to be. By sharing my, my story, I hope to convince all of you that if I was able to break every stereotype based on what I'm classified as, Mexican, female, undocumented, first generation, low income, then so can you. We do not have to let, let expectations become our reality. I am no expert in this journey we call life, but I am living proof that beating the system is possible. We do not have to conform to the limitations that others put on us. There will always be people that judge us and set expectations based on their preconceived ideas of who they think we are and who they think we should be. However, we have the ability to prove them wrong. In those moments when you need a reason to continue moving forward, close your eyes and picture yourself in the future saying, they told me I couldn't, so I did. Thank you.